Hey guys, good afternoon. Today I will show you how to fix the issue with the MacBook Pro that double taps the, the when you press a key. Like this example, let me show you. Here you can see. Wait a minute. Here you can see that when I press the number three, it will tap two times in my computer. Or if I move sometimes the key, I have a problem with, I think, four and six. You see? I'm not releasing and it keeps tapping if I, if I move the key. So, you can see here in my keyboard viewer that when I press, the, the key flashes. That means it's tapping a lot of times. For example, six, you can see it's tapping a lot of times. And there you go. So, to fix this problem, you need to you need to have this mechanism new, you need to buy some new mechanisms this is the cup that goes below the key let me show you this is the butterfly mechanism and the key. Now I was working on my letter H, but I'll show you with number six. Wait a minute. So what you need to do is First, you need to pop the key. We will use this spotter. You'll start from the top of the key. You put your spotter right in here. And you'll pull up your key a little bit. There you go, one clip. second clip then you will remove your key there you have it and now let me zoom it so now you have your butterfly mechanism and your cup I don't know why this this cups are failing a lot but when I checked the damaged ones they look burnt let me pop it up and you'll see the the best method to pop this up is with your spudger you'll go right in the in the middle of the top case and the butterfly mechanism and you'll slide like this but you have to be really careful because here you have the LED that illuminates your, your key. So you have to be very careful. Let me show you. You will start prying it. Very careful. It's sticked with, I think it's 3M. 3M double-sided tape. There you go. It's starting to release from its place. There you go. Now you can remove this. And then you can remove your butterfly mechanism. There you go. 
so you have this your 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 computer like this this is the led be careful with that and this is the old let me check this is the old cup let me focus as you can see it looks burnt there you go i have these ones that i have the replacement ones are not new i i took them out from a a damaged macbook but they are working pretty well and i don't know if these ones are from a second revision but as you can see the mechanism is different wait a minute i'll show you a comparison the one in the left is the old one the one in the right is the new one well so now what we need to do is clean pretty well our our slot or a key slot So I'm using a little brush, just like that, to remove all the dirt. I like to, I like to flip it a little bit, so the dirt falls out. And now, what we need to do is clean. Is to remove the double-sided tape as you can see here we have a little bit so with my spudger I'll start removing like this Here you go, and 
just press if it doesn't get right in there you'll drag it like this right there let me check if it's okay if it doesn't get in place you need to go like this and snug it right in there but let me check this thing is oh, there you go so now the bottom part is in place and we just need to clip this right in here one and two there you go it does the movement and the clicking and now some more cleaning we'll clean this part and this part to ensure that your key and key cap is really clean so it sticks nicely now you need to try your key before we stick it in you place it like that and as you can see my number six As you can see, if I click one time and I move my key, it won't be clicking twice. It just types one time. Oh, sorry. Let me show you. I'm clicking one, 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 one. If I move, it won't click again. So. Let's go again to pop our key. There you go. Now what we need to do here in here in Mexico we have this glue. It's like ex extra strong glue, liquid glue. And we will do this. I have this metal. So I, I'll drip just a, just, a, just a little drip like that. And I'm using this tool. So we need to get a little bit of glue right in this place let me turn this off in this little place this white space here tool I'm just doing this soak it a little bit and really carefully place some glue in there there you go again there you go so now we have glue here and here we'll place Sorry, my video just, just, I don't know why it, it got cut, but right we have, here we have our, our key working. I'll show you what to do with the glue, but with my H key. So, let me check where is my mechanism. 
Here we have our butterfly mechanism. Wait a minute. Here we have our butterfly mechanism. Our cup. We'll place it right on the top. There you go. And then we'll assemble it. There you go. One, two clicks. There you have it. Now, some cleaning. Let me lock my screen. Some cleaning with alcohol. There you go. Here at the sides. You need to really check that you have no trash in there. go and now some cleaning right in here there you go now you have to to get some glue just some drips very good and right in here Sorry, my, my phone storage just got full, but you need to place the glue here and here. There you go. Take your key. There it is. And place it on top. There you go. Keep pressing. Now our H is working fine too. You see, if I move my key, it won't mark two times the double press. And that's it. You can save a lot of money with this fix, and you won't have to to buy a new upper case. So feel free to, to leave your comment if you have any doubt and I hope you can repair your own, your own MacBook Pros at home. Goodbye.